Hey, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics. So on our channel, we get lots of questions in the comment section. In this video, we're gonna be answering some of these questions, hopefully give you some more insights on some of the more common questions we get about orthodontics. So if you haven't yet, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tap the notification bell if you'd like to get notified when we release new videos. So let's go ahead and jump in here. How much does your teeth move with each tray? So this is talking about Invisalign. So for those who aren't familiar with Invisalign, you'll have a series of trays or aligners. And when you wear a tray, it's gonna nudge your tooth a little bit. So each tray is programmed to move your teeth slightly. Each one might be programmed to have a certain number of days per aligner. So this is really going to depend on how your doctor sets it up. So if you're using Invisalign, most doctors will prescribe it one tray per week. And that's generally programmed in to have about a half a millimeter of tooth movement in a month. And so it's gonna be a quarter of that. So if you're trying to move a tooth, you know, a full millimeter, it'll take about two months to get there. And so each tray, depending on how they divided that up, will be a fraction of that. So some cases in our office will actually slow down the tooth movement and have a patient wear each tray one to two days. So in those cases, it's only a small fraction of a millimeter that we're really moving a tooth. It really depends um, if you wanted to calculate it you can see how long you're wearing each one of your trays if it's one week each then you know each tray is moving your tooth about a quarter of a millimeter so if it's more or less than that it's going to be a different fraction so hopefully that helps again this is all kind of pre-programmed on the computer when the doctor sets up the case um, they know how much your teeth are going to move the ai and the software that's behind invisalign or whatever system you're using also factors this in and they try to prevent it. They put a lot of safety measures in place to make sure we're moving teeth at a healthy pace that's within the biological limits and it's not gonna move the teeth too fast or have too much pressure. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe for more braces related content. Make sure to tap the bell for notifications. And if you have any questions you'd like to have answered, ask them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.